Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Among the gods, there is none like you, O Lord, for you are great and do marvelous deeds. You alone are God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we come in this Eucharistic celebration asking the Lord Jesus to fill our hearts with love for our Father, love for our neighbor. And so to begin this celebration, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Pour your grace into our hearts, we pray, O Lord, that we may be constantly drawn away from unruly desires and obeyed by your own gift, the heavenly teaching you give us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all iniquity and receive what is good, that we may render as offerings the bollocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say no more, our God, to the work of our hands, for in you the orphan finds compassion. I will heal their defection, says the Lord. I will love them freely, for my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the dew for Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar and put forth his shoots. His splendor shall be like the olive tree and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again, they shall dwell in a shade and raise green. They shall blossom like the vine, and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him, but I will prosper him. I am like a verdant cypress tree. Because of me, you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord, in them the just walk, but sinners stumble in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. An unfamiliar speech I hear, I relieved his shoulder of the burden. His hands were freed from the basket. In distress you called, and I rescued you. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. Unseen, I answered you in thunder. I tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear my people, and I will admonish you. O Israel, will you not hear me? I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. There shall be no strange God among you, nor shall you worship any alien God. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you forth from the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God, hear my voice. If only my people would hear me, and Israel walk in my ways, I would feed them with the best of wheat, and with honey from the rock, I would feel them. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. Please stand. Sinabi ng buong mahal, kasalanan ay taligtan, pagsubay ay pagsisihan. Maghahari ng lubusan Ang kong Diyos na may kapan The Lord be with you And with your spirit A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark Glory to you, O Lord One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. 
there is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher, you are right in saying he is one, and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Please be seated. The commandment taught to us by Jesus in our Gospel passage this morning, to love God, to love our neighbor, to love God with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength, is for Jesus the first commandment of all. But I would like to give a suggestion on how we can love God today. Baka po, yung sinasabi ni Jesus na to love your God, to love God with all your heart, baka po medyo mahirap nating maintindihan at mahirap nating magawa o maisabuhay. And so, I think our first reading today gives us a good, concrete suggestion on how we can say that we love God with all our hearts. In our first reading today from the book of the prophet Isaiah, we hear a conversation with God. God telling Israel that God alone is good for their lives. That they must consider that God is their only good. Sinasabi ng Panginoon sa ating unang pagbasa, kinakausap niya ang Israel na bumalik ka na sa akin sapagkat ako lamang ang makapagbibigay ng kabutihan sa iyong buhay. God says to Israel, I am like the water that will give blossom and life to your trees. You will blossom like the lily. You shall grow like a Lebanon cedar. Your splendor will be like the olive tree. Kapag nasa Panginoon tayo, sabi ng Diyos, kapag tayo ay nagbalik sa Kanya, ay ang buhay natin ay mapapabuti. Mamumunga lalo ang ating buhay. This teaches us, my dear brothers and sisters, if we are to love God, then we must consider Him as the only good in our lives. Kung sasabihin po natin na mahal natin ang Diyos, dapat ay tinitingnan natin ng Panginoon bilang mabuti sa ating buhay. And so my dear brothers and sisters, today I would like to ask all of us, do you consider God as good in your life? Tinitingnan ba natin ng Panginoon bilang mabuti sa ating buhay? If we consider God as the good in our lives, then we may now say that we love God with all our hearts, with all of our minds, with all of our strength. 
Ngayong araw po ay araw ng biyernes. A day of fasting, abstinence, of prayer, of almsgiving. Araw po ngayon ng biyernes, araw ng pagtitika, pagtitiis. And we will give up things today. So since today is a day of fasting, we will give up meat for today. Bawal po muna ang kumain ng karne sa araw na ito. At mamaya, siguro ay pupunta kayo sa kakainan ninyo at pipili kayo ng kakainin ninyo at doon makikita ninyo tinatawag kayo ng lechon kawali <laughs> at halina ang ulam na karne. No? Sasabihin muna natin sa karne, wag ka muna ngayon because I consider today God as my only good. We will choose today God which is the good in our lives. If we are tempted today not to pray, then let us choose to pray because today we will choose God as the good in our lives. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, we ask our Lord Jesus in our celebration of the Mass today to realize, to understand that God is our only good. And if we understand that God is our only good, then we can say that we love Him. We ask our Lord God, the only good in our life, to fill our hearts with His love, to nourish our soul, to fill our minds with His truth, to encourage us with His strength. Lord God, we consider You as the only good in our lives. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray to God the Father that His love for us may inspire all and that His love may mark our attitude towards everyone. For every petition, let us say, Lord God, let us grow in Your love. Lord God, let us grow in Your love. That the Church may never cease to proclaim love of God and neighbor as the heart of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord God, God, let, let us, us grow in, in your, your love. love. That we may never forget to show compassion to those who are underprivileged, unwanted, and unloved. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord God, God, let, let us, us grow in, in your, your love. love that we may treat every person with kindness and respect. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord God, God, let, let us, us grow in, in your love. love, that by the gentle touch of the Spirit, we may have a deeper compassion for the sick and the elderly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord God, God, let, let us, us grow in, in your, your love, that Christ may bring to His eternal kingdom our departed loved ones, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord God, God, let us grow in your love. God our Father, help us to love you and one another without measure as you do. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
este Dios y eres hijo de la de Dios Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor, we pray, Lord, on the offerings we dedicate that they may be pleasing in your sight and always be salutary for us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise. We acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory, glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the, the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the, in the name, name of the Lord, Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the, the highest. highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. 
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, then formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the, the word, word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. 
never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May your strength be at work in us, O Lord, pervading our minds and bodies, that what we have received by participating in this sacrament may bring us the fullness of redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the faithful who implore your mercy, that trusting in your kindness, they may spread far and wide the gifts your charity has bestowed. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.